Now, education in, is under attack in Nigeria with mass school abductions being reported every other month. And it is a time like this that the country is joining the rest of the world to mark the International Day to Protect Education from Attack. Plus TV Africa's Ngozi Ikao HSE reports. It's a few days to the resumption of a new academic year, and the management of Redditon School is putting things in place to welcome students back. The academy coordinator, Adeola Adesaronu, tells me that one of the major concerns is the safety of students due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The children's welfare is of importance to us. So the first thing we're going to do is to ensure that the children come with their uh, COVID pack, which will contain their face mask and um, their hand sanitizers. COVID-19 aside, it's pretty easy to go to school in Lagos, where public basic education is free, and private schools, although relatively expensive, are accessible. The concerns are different in northern Nigeria, where school enrollment is low and attacks on schools are increasing. Education is very accessible in Lagos State because if you look everywhere, uh, by the time you move to one, st uh, one street to another, you see a school. But um, in the northern states, due to the banditry, like you mentioned, a lot of schools have had to, you know, they've had to shut down because of the kidnapping and the insurgency and the banditry. No fewer than 1,400 students have been kidnapped from their schools in northern Nigeria since March 2020. According to SBM Intelligence, 17 teachers have been abducted, 16 people killed, and more than 200 million naira paid in ransom since then. As a result of that, some states have been forced to close schools. Confident McHarry is the security analyst at SBM Intelligence Lagos. Provide better security for the schools in these areas would be to root out uh, insecurity in these particular areas and bring government close to the people. But right now, it is seeming, it is seeming like an uphill task. Uh, honestly, without security, education cannot continue. It can't happen. Uh, it's, it's not rocket science. When people do not feel secure to send their children to school, there will be no education taking place. It's evident that education in Nigeria is under attack, and as the world marks this day, parents, educationists, and every concerned citizen wishes authority can do better to protect our schools. Education can be a door opener and social leveler. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohaichesi. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.